This is a follow-up video of the last video creating Covin Telegram bot using Python. A lot of people had comments uh, and asked for certain improvements. I also realized and also a few questions like how can we run this code periodically, right? And a lot of people asked about deployment. A lot of people asked how we can add more data or too many messages were going and uh, some people uh, asked about 429. So we'll go over all these uh, in this video and also I'll in the end give you some general advice okay so let's get started uh, so this is the code so I will just run the code now not for all the districts I will just run for few districts just for demo purpose right I'll comment this okay and uh, now how you can align this code vertically or in a better format so you can use backslash n which gives us the new line okay and uh, yeah this is the code and also will not send it will just print this message I'm not sending it to telegram right now because I just want to see the new format right and also if you want uh, we'll just make this loop run not just five times okay so we'll define a counter we say counter equal to counter plus one and if I is greater than five then break okay so let's let's try this okay yeah so now you can see the the whole code is coming vertically which some people had asked but you still it's messed up you're not able to see the difference so what i will do is we can add a new line of uh, something which separates the two uh, sort of requests so now you can see very clearly right that each sort of send, uh, session is separated right so our sort of formatting is done now we can add more parameter to it uh, we can add uh, the date we can add the vaccine type we can add the vaccine name right because a lot more information is available so what I will do is I will add that I will say backslash n uh, vax, uh, date right which date is we are talking about right then I will say backslash n which vaccine are we talking about right then I will add backslash n uh, fee type right? is the vaccine fee or not uh, paid or free right lot of uh, questions have come right uh, for paid lot of things are coming right a lot of people are asking if the vaccine is paid or not so for date we can say session date Right, so in the format I am adding all the parameters now for the vaccine it's very simple parameter vaccine so how do I know this name of the key just the JSON right if you look at the JSON uh, you will be able to uh, find out and for the fee you can say fee type right and that is at the center level I think right if I'm not okay so it's not uh, it's at the session level only okay some issue okay comma is missing I think this will be at a center level again comma is missing okay great so we get uh, the vaccine COVID shields free minimum age and the date also and great so we are able to add more parameter to our information that we want to send so this is also done next is too many messages right now you can see per uh, the message is going per uh, session right that's how our uh, loop is there is a loop for center so there are multiple centers right and then there is loop for each session uh, the multiple sessions in a center right one center can have five sessions so for each session you are checking and if you are finding then you are pushing that to telegram right I've commented commented it for now but you are doing that but this can be sort of minimized what we can do is uh, for every center right we can combine the message so we can uh, define an empty string and then we keep on adding to this uh, string right and then we send this string we don't send the message right we don't send the message 
per session right here we are sending per session we send per session uh, per center so this is different from sending per session because if you send for per session for one center you will have five messages which might be too much for the bot right for people who are reading it uh, so what you can do is you can send per center right now let's see what changes okay now uh, we are getting this uh, sort of message per uh, center right so if you run it on telegram let me try to run it on telegram okay now i'm sending to telegram we'll see how the messages appear okay they are start appearing right so this is the so here you can see the message are clubbed or grouped by the center right so this is one center uh, right this is the same center uh, some formatting issue uh, you can add a backslash and after this also okay so that after each uh, there is a line okay now now let's see okay now you can see so for this uh, center shahid captain amit farma right uh, for this session and then this session and this but one message came right so for each center only one message is coming for different date it's like combining you can remove these things if because these will be same for the center right the code and the name and this also will be same but the slots will be different per uh, different dates but see now number of messages have been reduced earlier like this has uh, five sort of sessions this center so you would have sent five messages now it's just one message okay so this is a way to uh, just remove too many messages and clubbing them or grouping them and some people uh, complained about 429 so this happens when you are sending too many messages remember the rate limit is 100 api calls per 5 minutes right so if you exceed this then you will get this right so if i send more requests then i will get this so make sure you are not exceeding this now uh, another request was how can we run this code periodically i told that we can run using cron but uh, not many people were able to use it or some people were able to do it but let's uh, see another method how we can use so we can use the schedule library of python right uh, not this okay so you can uh, install this pip install and then uh, run it now let's let's first try to see how this runs so whenever you are looking for any or looking at any library you should first run in a very simple manner just to see how it works so i think uh, this is pretty simple if i have a job and if i want to run so i can define how much uh, what frequency i want to run so i want to run every 10 seconds or every 10 minute or every hour every day every 5 to uh, 10 minutes right monday wednesday a lot of uh, features are there so we'll run every 10 seconds so I have installed this already so you might need to do pip install but I already have it so you might run, need to run this so let's try to do this okay so I get no module name schedule so this is some error I am getting I am not able to run it through sublime I will I'll try to run it directly through python okay So I am trying to run it every 10 seconds. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I am saying is this condition will always be true, right? So run the pending and then sleep for one second. So let's see if this runs. So after 10 seconds, I am working should be printed. Okay, 10 seconds seems uh, long yeah it's working right so what we are saying is every 10 seconds do this okay now we we can see how we can apply to our code right so this is our script p2 we can import uh, time and import schedule right and right, we can import time we can import schedule 
and then we have to do this okay we'll go down and we will do this right not job we have to run our uh, this function right we have to run this and then uh, we have to do that uh, while loop right we have to run it again and again okay so we say every 10 seconds do this right and uh, yeah and this let's see if it works so i'll try to so the name is covin demo telegram sorry demo telegram covin v2 okay it's inconsistent use of tabs and spaces run pending okay. okay see here there are this uh, so some people asked about this also so you whenever you're copy pasting sometimes these kind of things happen right you always have to use tabs or spaces uh, one of the two for the indentation okay now let's try to do this okay it ran it's running and then some error came okay so i check this right so what you have to do you have to add a lambda function to this right something like this you have to write and uh, another one right so you have to pass it as a lambda function right you should check out what lambda functions are in python and then let's see every 10 seconds is, is the code running 10 seconds seems long okay we got it and we got 200 so this is the end now after 10 seconds again will it run okay we got it again right so after 10 seconds it's running and uh, you can just interrupt it when you want right so this is the uh, run periodically part now the third deployment deployment is fairly simple this is a standalone script it has only two dependencies one is the schedule and one is the request so if you have a server access you can uh, pip install request and the schedule library right and then just uh, run this script as i am running on my local machine you can you can make a you can make a github uh, github repo and push this code there push this code and then deploy this uh, like copy this code on your server copy the repo on server so i have a full video on how to do that i'll link that in the description but it's fairly simple just this code if you push on your server and then uh, run this like we are running locally right either through directly here or there in the server you might need to run it in the background right then uh, you can check how you can do that and final the final advice before ending the video is that uh, i see a lot of comments or a lot of questions which are very basic like indentation errors or like vertically aligned and more parameters so uh, i would advise you guys to first learn the basics of the python right learn basics of the language then these uh, these things will be automatically clear to you right rather than just approaching everything just to get it done you better learn the fundamentals and then these things will be uh, clear to you uh, from there you don't have to then do a lot of uh, tinkering right you will be able to get it uh, off the once you know the fundamentals so i have a full course on python so you can check that full course i'll link it, link it in the description and, and then you can move forward so yeah this is it let me know if you have any more comments or suggestion um, and uh, yeah thanks a lot if you like the video please give it thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more such videos in the future thanks